And good evening once again. Our top story takes us to Ecuador. That's where supporters of the government are rallying ahead of planned actions by opposition groups in the country. Now the rally follows weeks of right-wing protests against the president's plans to increase inheritance taxes on the wealthy to address inequality in the country. Now many of those protests turn violent. On Thursday, opposition labor groups will hold a day of action, joined by indigenous groups whose march arrived in the capital, Quito. Now they plan to block major highways tonight to disrupt the country. Other indigenous groups have condemned the march, and Bolivian President Evo Morales has called on indigenous people not to be manipulated by the country's elite. And Ecuadorian President Rafael Correa calls the actions attempts to undermine his government. Now he has urged his supporters to defend democracy and the progress achieved under his government. And he adds that citizens have the right to protest, but has accused those organizing the marches and the strike of lacking legitimacy and seeking to destabilize the country. This Thursday will be crucial. They want to hold the country's activities, but nobody can stop Ecuador. Let's work with greater energy and enthusiasm. Let's defend what's cost us so much to build and demonstrate to that striking minority that the past will not return.